Good, good, oh, good, oh, good, good morning. Oh, 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 there you go. Good morning. Happy Monday. Uh, we are on our way to work at the moment. It is, what is it, 6.50 in the morning. I work in San Francisco, so I have to invest about hour 15 into commuting uh, one way. So that's about like, what, almost three hours, two, two hours and 30 minutes of just commuting on top of the eight hour shift. What a dream. That's what we come to America for. Uh, I did not record anything this weekend. I re- my body is wrecked. I had a really solid two days of training. Um, I hit 410 in the squats just to get a feel for it. Not my max, not a PR. Um, I just wanted to get a feel for the four wheels because uh, I'm, I'm really, we're two weeks out and it's ultimately I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to open up. Jesus, auto white. And we're trying to figure out the, our openers right now. So I worked out, did squats, uh, did 410 on, on Saturday, uh, hit the bench yesterday. And damn, I am honestly surprised with myself. For someone who is dealing with a slight injury, the shoulder's getting better, by the way. I was actually surprised I was able to push up 305 yesterday. I actually pushed up 305. And I was surprised. I was like, damn, you know, like, I didn't realize I was going to bounce back like that. Um, It's not 315. It's not 335. But this will do. Because then, day of calm, I could possibly hit 300 pounds um, so I won't, I won't be like, I won't look like too much of a loser. Um, but Hey, you know what you live and you learn. There's, there's a reason why we do these things. Like the first time we get into it, we learn, we, we adapt, we include things in our, we add things to our toolbox, our little utility belts. Um, and this is what I'm adding to my utility belt. I know not to train heavy, uh, in the morning. Cause I think that's the biggest reason why my shoulders got injured. But that's, that'll be my, if anything, that'll be my third attempt. Um, as far as deadlift, I'm still trying to figure it out because deadlift, um, for a last compound movement in the day after hitting bench and squat, it's, it's there, it's definitely taxing. So for me to ideally say that I want to lift 545 and break even for uh, a lifetime PR for a deadlift, I am probably not going to hit 545. Um, that might be a bad mentality, but I'm just also uh, being real with myself. Uh, I would probably settle at 520, your five, because that still puts me at a total above 1200 total. Um, so it wouldn't be too bad for a first, you know, powerlifting comp, um, especially with all the shit that I had to deal with. But hey, idiot, what idiot? Just got off of work. And one thing I've really learned to appreciate, especially coming down to the end of programming, is that the rest days, the rest days. So the programming only has me program at four days a week uh, and then three days to rest. Usually I'll just do two days just so I use the other day for like bodybuilding stuff. Not too taxing, volume a little bit moderate weight, nothing too heavy. Uh, But for the most part, I've definitely appreciated. I remember before when I was younger, I never really appreciated that. I was always like, I was always wanting to go to the gym six days a week, possibly seven days a week. Didn't believe in rest. I was one of those ego lifters, those ego bodybuilder types. But now I'm a changed man. I've definitely appreciated it a lot more. And honestly, after competition day, I'm ready to just take a week, possibly two weeks off. If not, go back to bodybuilding and just really relax from the taxing weight that I have to do for squats and deadlifts. <sighs> Altogether, I have learned a lot about myself going through this prep as much as I've learned a lot when I was on the bodybuilding or men's physique or however you want to call it. Uh, There's just like so many differences, so many challenges. Um, Of course, totally different agendas when it comes to both of these sports. Um, But one thing I really, 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 really want to emphasize that I've learned uh, going through powerlifting and I think not a lot of powerlifters or as far as the ones that I watch don't really emphasize is the communication with your body. Um, Of course, you can go by RPE, but I'm speaking of like injuries. Um, For me, dealing with the injuries uh, and whatnot, it really helped me discipline myself to really just listen to it. Um, not really like push it over and be like, nah, screw it. I know I can be stronger. I'm gonna push this. When I had the injury on my shoulder, it totally took a toll on my ego, um, which was another thing. I, I actually learned how to really compose my ego and kind of put that to the side on top of that. But anyways, uh, just like, just like dealing with this injury, I've had to really just take it down a notch. Uh, 
beginning when I first found out about the injury, I was like, no, 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 I was in denial, and I was still trying to push 225, um, but it was, it was just not getting better, like, weeks in. Honestly, if I just listened to it initially, I'd probably be, I probably would have been able to hit 315 day of comp, but it's all good. As I mentioned earlier, you live and you learn. And for the next uh, powerlifting meet or whatever I'm gonna be doing in the future, I don't know yet, I know what to do, you know, when I deal with an injury and whatnot. Thank God it's an injury, uh, knock on wood. Thank God it was only an injury with my shoulder because if, God forbid, if it was a squat or a deadlift type of thing, I would have definitely pulled out of the competition because I love squatting and deadlifting way more than a uh, bench, so. Uh, I think this is gonna conclude the video. I'm, you know, I'm really apolog I, I apologize for not being able to add like cool effects and edits and whatnot. Uh, it's just been really mentally consuming and of course time consuming on top of that. So uh, the next video will be the comp video. No, actually no, two videos from now will be the comp video. Uh, it'll be a peak video for the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people don't really enjoy powerlifting videos because it's so redundant. And I think I had a little bit more traction when it came to the, the bodybuilding stuff, but it's all good. It's all good. All it takes is one person to enjoy my video for me to keep going. You know what I mean? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.